a slow start to the season for Agert and Benekin, who took four races to win their first event. Somewhat understandable since both of them were COVID positive late in the summer. They came back from the illness. They also came back from a neck injury from Sasha Benekin. And they seem to be back to top form. They've won the last two events. And they trail, as I mentioned, the Austrians by just 20 points in the overall. Tapping a Oops, wall. A little tap at the start. It's a fine line. You want to be as close to that right wall as possible without hitting it to give yourself the best setup for that entrance. The third fastest start time, incidentally, the fastest was by their German teammates, Goyeka and Gam. Very late entrance into 12, and they're over into 13. Second time this year they've crashed, Emily, and this one is going to be so costly. They do get back on the sled, which is gigantic, because no finish time would have perhaps knocked them out of contention for the World Cup overall. Now at least they continue to have a fighting chance. That just shows how quickly things can go wrong on this track, especially in doubles where the center of gravity is that much higher. I mean, curve 12 is a, it's a tight curve that you go for that quick feeling of inversion and then coming out into 13, but they, they went laid in and it was that much sharper. See so yeah, how they have a little bit of a sideways skid going in and then as soon, they had too much of a peak, came right into that left wall right before curve 13. So to go along with three wins this year, Tony Agert and Sacha Benekin now have their second crash. They're back in 20th place. It'll be interesting to see in run number two, Emily, how many positions they can move up. I'm not going to count them out by any stretch from, from the World Cup contention yet because they're headed back to their home track next week. And I'm sure they still have a couple of victories 